This is a sports catastrophe production. <clears throat> hey there, how there, ho there. It's Jeff Cutter. I'm welcoming you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. And birthday boy to start Canada today, July the 1st, is a Canadian. Now, this is unusual. Normally, I do one who's a very good athlete in like baseball, basketball, football, hockey, or soccer, or golf, or the rare occasion sumo wrestling. But basically put, this is going to be a rarity. Because this is going to be a birthday boy about someone who's not really that famous. However, this will be kind of one to talk about the mental health aspect of this guy and the book. And funny story about the book. So you will actually see for a rare time, I think the first time ever on a sports catastrophe, you will see video. But not video pulled off YouTube. Video from my webcam on the Corey Hirsch book and all that. And I just said, Corey Hirsch is now 52 years old. You may not want to, you may not hear of him, but you may want to know about him. Anyway, Corey Hirsch was born in Medicine Hat, playing for Canloops in the Western Hockey League for four seasons. And got Canloops to the 1990 Memorial Cup, which was held in Hamilton. And you'd be like, Hamilton didn't have an OHL team, did they? They did have an NHL team called the Hamilton Dukes. But the weird thing was, because the Dukes were so porous in 1990, they were not in the Memorial Cup. Now to explain, the Memorial Cup is the Canadian Major Junior Hockey League's championship. And it comprises the champions from the three leagues. The Western Hockey League, practically teams from BC to Manitoba, and some teams sprinkled in Washington State. The OHL, the Ontario Hockey League, with teams in Ontario and sprinkled a few in Michigan and Pennsylvania. And the Quebec Hockey League, which had teams down in Maine, but, for example, but didn't. But, you know, Quebec and the Maritimes. Those three, alongside the a whole city, would be playing in the Memorial Cup. Now, the whole city usually was a good team during that playoff year. But because Hamilton sucked terribly, were the worst team in the OHL, they didn't want them in the OHL. They they made the rule that both OHL finalists would go to the um, Memorial Cup. Oshawa won the Memorial Cup in 1990. I mean, won the Memorial Cup and the OHL championship. And Kitchener, thankfully, who took second in the OHL, was given the chance to play in the Memorial Cup. And that was when Kitchener lost in double overtime to the Generals, and Eric Lindros won his Memorial Cup. Anyway, Hirsch was taken 169th overall by the New York Rangers in 1991. So, anyway, he went back for a year of junior in Canloops and put up five shutouts and all that. He got Canloops to the Memorial Cup held in Seattle and won the championship 5-4 to four over Suze Marie. So, Canloops Won the Memorial Cup. So, Corey Hirsch is a Memorial Cup champion and was named top goaltender of the tournament, getting the Hap M's trophy. So, that was huge for Hirsch. And actually, Canloops kept the good times rolling, winning two of the next three Memorial Cups. So, they were kind of the dynasty of the 90s in the major junior leagues. Hirsch is actually tied for first with Tyson Sexsmith. Yeah, that's his name. For most wins in Western Hockey League history. So anyway, he would go play for Binghamton, New York's AHL affiliate or minor league team, and was the top goalie at two points, and also the lowest goals against average of 2.79. So he was doing well in the AHL. He played against the Red Wings on January 1993 for the Rangers in a tie, and then the next start against the LA Kings, he won 8-3 over the Kings. Hirsch would go back to the AHL and practically play in the minor leagues. and. And in 1994, when hockey still had you be an amateur to play, professionals were not allowed until 98. The 94 Olympics in Lillehammer, Hammer, Hirsch was the number one goalie for Canada. And he did well. Canada did well in the tournament and would face Sweden in the finale for the gold medal, which had to go to the shootout. I remember watching that live at my family's dinner table at age eight. And Sweden beat Canada thanks to Peter Forsberg's shootout goal that actually was depicted on a Swedish postage stamp. Hirsch was approached 
but he didn't want to give his likeness to the stamp, so they had to put him a, a generic goalie. Hirsch said he would make a mistake. Regardless, though, Hirsch would be an AHL goalie, in a sense. Only playing four games for the New York Rangers, 1-2-1 one, and one, in 93. Otherwise, he was in the AHL and all that. Hirsch was the third goalie for the Rangers in 94, in the 94 Cup run, behind Mike Richter and Glenn Healy. So he got to take part in the scrimmages and basically be up in the press boxes watching the game and all that. But Corey Hirsch did not want to stay for the parade, which was unusual and all that. But there was more to that than you think. Anyway, the Rangers would trade him on the trade deadline in 1995 to Vancouver for Nathan Lafayette, which was funny because Lafayette had a post in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals in 94 against the Rangers. Anyway, Hirsch would split duties with Kirk McLean in 1996 for the Canucks and was actually named to the All-Rookie team with a 17-14-6 and six mark. So, good for him. He would take fifth in Calder voting for Rookie of the Year and picked up his first career shutout against the Bruins. So, he played a few years for Vancouver and was waived. But then he would bounce around for... Nashville, Anaheim, Washington, and Dallas. He only played a handful of NHL games during the Rangers' career. He was basically an AHL career goalie. He did pretty well for the Utah Grizzlies in 2003. Hopefully that's the name Utah picks. Anyway, Hirsch would play overseas in Sweden and Germany. He would then become a goaltending consultant for Hockey Canada when he retired. He worked with the National Junior Team as part of the 2007-2008 World Junior Teams, you know, working with Carey Price. And I can't remember who the 2007 goal, who the other goalie was, but yeah, Carey Price. Helping Carey Price do well. Um, Toronto made him their goalie coach in 2008 for a couple of years. And then St. Louis wiped them for four years. So anyway, he did quite well. So yeah, he was a major junior star for Canloops and helped them win the Memorial Cup in 92. And he was named AHL Goal of the Year in 93. But yeah, his NHL career, he had only 108 games played, 34 wins, 45 losses, 14 ties, with six playoff games at two and three. Hirsch was practically the playoff goalie in 96 when the Canucks went out to Colorado in the first round. In the AHL, he was 100, he had 142 wins in the AHL, but in the playoffs, he was only 9-13. He did quite well, in a sense. He was just an AHL goalie and all that. Of course, there is a stretch. Now, after his career, well, he had 15 years of marriage with somebody and had three children. He had a son, Hayden, who attended training camp with Canloops but didn't make the regular season roster. But the main reason why I'm doing Corey Hirsch is how he talks about his mental health. In 2017, in an article, he talked about his severe anxiety and OCD for much of his life and had a struggle and all that. All that. He's been an outspoken advocate for mental health awareness and ending the stigma associated with mental illness. And he elaborated in his autobiography, The Save of My Life, My Journey Out of the Dark, which was written in 2022. And he co-hosts a podcast with a psychiatrist featuring athletes talking about mental health. So that's good with Corey Hirsch and all of that. Now, normally I just say, thanks for watching, I'm Jeff Diamond at Do. But I'm going to give you some video stuff now. So, of course, this is weird uh, sports catastrophe that I give you a video of any sort. But the fact is that this is practically his book, The Save of My Life by Corey Hirsch. And, you know, he gives a very good in-depth look at stuff, even on the back cover, like freak.
So, yeah, so the save of my life. Now I'm going to open it up. Ta-da! That's Corey Hirsch's autograph. In fact, it's the only book I have a athlete's um, autograph. There are a few books that have autographs inside, but that's just my buddy Bill Lang um, writing blurbs about like my birthday presents and all that. But the funny thing about Corey Hirsch and his autograph is that um, there's a funny story about it. How did I get that autograph, you may ask? Well, for years, I've been a member of Blue Shirt Underground um, Facebook group, and they do a podcast on YouTube. Well, Restream, but YouTube is one of the outlets you can watch it on, or Twitch, or Facebook, of course. So on YouTube, um, that's my main thing to watch them there and, you know, interact with Jim and Eddie. But the fact of the matter is that they decided to have Corey Hirsch on the program one day. And, you know, they're talking about stuff and how Jim and Eddie would uh, talk to him about the mental health struggles and everything else. It was quite impressive. And all that. So they did talk about Corey Hirsch. Like he did talk to Butcher Underground. And then Jim said, I have an autographed copy of his book to give away. And he said this trivia question. Corey Hirsch played, was a teammate of this former player who was a 70 goal scorer. Or I can't remember what the main question was. No, sorry, there was some kind of question about his roommate with the Vancouver Canucks. No, sorry, Corey Hirsch had an assist. His first initial assist was passing the puck to someone who scored a goal, and he was pretty good with the Vancouver Canucks. Who was he? A lot of people said Burry or Linden. And then when Jim gave the hint that he was a 70-goal scorer, I'm like, not many people were 70-goal scorers. Who played for the Canucks and was a 70-goal scorer? And then it popped in my head. It was like, wait a minute, Alex McGillney. I remember him as a fan of a Canuck. So I typed McGillney into the chat thing, and it was right. It was Alex McGillney. I snuck it out. Someone else said McGillney, but I beat him by like a few seconds. But like, yeah, it was it was McGillney. And so I got the autographed copy of his book. So yeah, so. Thank you, Boucher Underground. I outsmarted you all. Ha, ha, ha. But anyway, that's all I've got for this video. I'm Jeff Diamond. Adieu.